Hello everyone! Today we are going to learn five chart building plugins for your WordPress website. One of them is the most dynamic chart building plugin that I've ever experienced before. So stay tuned to learn about that plugin. Before moving on, please subscribe to our channel and put your thumbs up. The first plugin we are going to explore is called Chartify. It is the most dynamic chart building plugin ever. And now at first let's explore its demo. Here we can see the charts available. The first one is pie chart, column chart, advanced line chart, bar chart, and much more. Up to 10 charts available that you might need for in your experience. And here you can see the donut chart, histogram. What is unique about Chartify is that you can either edit your data manually or connect it to database or Google spreadsheet. And here happens the magic. Even after publishing your data, your charts, you can still edit them in your Google spreadsheet and in your database and it will automatically change. This is why it is called the most dynamic chart ever. And now let's explore its dashboard and features. Here you can see the dashboard of Chartify, which is pretty simple and well-designed. So here you also can see a video that you can go and check out for more information. Anyways, I'm going to show you the process. So here we are clicking add new, and here we can see the 10 charts available. And I'm going to choose one of them, pie charts. That's my favorite and go on. First, we should title our chart for us to be easier to then use them. I'm going to name that donut. Okay, so then here we can see the two main tools, source and settings. In source, we can see import data from file, connect to Google Sheets, connect to database and manual data. So uh, we can understand that we can either do uh, and added our uh, data manually or connect to some database or Google Sheets or CSV files. So here in, in the manual section, you can choose add rows, delete them, uh, change the names and uh, insert some data, change them again. And you can also import file. So um, I'm going to import a CSV file to show you how this works and we click on show on chart and here we can see our data appear and it's pretty beautiful and here um, you can see connect to Google uh, Sheets and it requires some API keys so here you need a detailed guide of doing so um, so I'm going to put a link below uh, definitely check that out if you want to connect it to Google Sheets and uh, customize it more easily and then here we can also connect it to our database and in settings, we can um, choose the style, choose the colors and designs and etc. After completing, click on save and close. And here you can see the shortcut, which you are going to copy and paste into your new pages and post where you want to display your data. And that's it about Chartify. Let's move on. Our next chart building plugin is called WP Charts and Graphs. And here you can see the dashboard. Um, so at the top, you can choose the chart types. It has eight chart types available at the moment. Here you can edit the names. I've already changed it to donuts. Um, and you can also change the values here and also set uh, minimum and maximum values that you want your chart to display. And here we can also choose the colors and click on generate. And here is our chart. And here is the shortcut, which we are going to copy and paste um, into our post uh, where, and where you want our chart to display. Overall, this is a good plugin for chart building because it has eight charts available. But what I disliked about this chart is it's a bad structured dashboard because it makes the process a little bit complicated and not uh, and, and it does not stand out with its ease of use. 
So that's it about WP Charts and Grass, and let's move on to our next plugin. For our next plugin, which is called Chart Blog, we are going to add a new post. Here we can click Add New, and here we can, and here we are adding a blog. And when we type your chart, it will appear here. So. Uh -huh. Here we can see that the dashboard is available right into our uh, post page and it is uh, it, it makes the process easier. So here we can um, see the uh, main tools. Here we can uh, label our um, uh, data and change the numbers here, change the colors and we can duplicate the, the data set and also add new data set and we can remove them and do whatever we want with them and then we can go to chart settings and here we can choose one of the six uh, chart types available i'm going to choose donut and um, we can choose again the color text color uh, then we can go to title uh, and subtitle settings and um, give a title to our chart so that it is easier for us to work with them later on. And then uh, we go to download settings. If we want to download our chart in PNG format, we, you know, he will enable it and uh, click on um, download chart and it will appear here. Um, and that's it about uh, chart graph. Uh, let's uh, move on to our next plugin. For our next uh, chart building plugin, which is called SB Chart Block, we once again need to open a new post. Here we can click Add New. And here we can, in the same way, add our chart. And here we can see that we should enter here uh, data in um, CSV format, which uh, is the comma separated uh, format. So here I'm going to introduce um, some names, um, let's say XYZ and um, numbers. <laughs> After finishing, we are going to choose our um, chart type. Let's choose a horizontal bar chart and we click refresh. And here we can see our data uh, appear here. Um, here we can um, um, make some changes um, in our chart. Here we can choose the pass opacity, height, uh, bar thickness, etc. And um, that's it from here it has uh four charts available uh not that much and um let's move on to our next plugin our next plugin is called iChart, which uh, pretty much works the same way as our later two um, plugin work. Uh, so here we add new posts and here we add a blog and uh, click on iChart uh, generator. Uh, for generating our chart, we click here, uh, generate iChart shortcut and here we can do our uh, changes, insert some data, change names, label them. So here we can choose the chart type. We have six types available. Um, let's choose um, line chart. And then we're going to um, title our chart, uh, then our data set name, and then we're going to add rows, delete rows. So here we have Pi free, and we should add some values 10, and 20, and 30, let's say. And let's choose a color for this one too, let's say blue. And here we have this data. Uh, after making sure that we have inserted all uh, the nested data, we click on generate chart and here the short code will appear. Then we are going to copy and close it. And here we um, will see the short code. Uh, the only downside here is that we do not see uh, the chart here, but we can see that uh, by clicking preview, and here we can see our um, chart. That's it about chart building plugins for your WordPress website. I hope you liked it. And please write in the comments, which one are you going to use?